Right. And then he says, I hate you. His, his whole demeanor changed. Flipped. Did a whole 180. Sweet as could be. Sweet as pie. Through this. At the beginning. You have a good heart. And I love you. And it's love. And da 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 da. Then all of a sudden it flipped. Because I wrote his wife and I said, get your damn husband. He came back and tied my stomach up, making me sick. Okay. And he's calling it a, spirit, a, a spiritual experience of a lifetime. <clears throat> okay, that's what I wanted to know. Because, I mean, this is this is insane, but not on your side, on somebody else's side that's that's obsessed with, he you know. Me. He took me around my throat. Um, and then dumped something down my mouth like I'm a magic, and you can taste it. Right. And he was doing it so much at the beginning that it almost killed me. I was falling, falling over to the side. I was like, um, you know what I mean? Like, uh, and now he's, I can actually feel him shaking while he's trying to shoot me in the spine, the lower part of my spine during this. Mm -hmm. um, and then the red marks that are all over my leg are the, the poison that he's shooting into me. So what he's doing, basically, what I'm seeing, he's doing a mixture of a lot of things. Um, Native Americans, they have, they do this ritual where they um, directly connect to the spiritual realm, but it's a higher um, level spirit, and it's from the dark side. And they worship the spirit because <clears throat> this spirit is able to help them um, not just directly communicate with the spirits, but to communicate with the energies of others and Mother Nature. And basically, you know, he's a very um, outdoors person, meaning he, he loves nature. Um, yeah. He uses that as an excuse um, to practice this certain ritual that they have been doing for so many years on top of that he's been practicing witchcraft and he's been okay let me remind you this guy has been doing it since he was 14 15 years old he started that's off with like little things huh that's what it seems like to me too yeah right he started off with little things and then slowly he started progressing to more um difficult things to do and of course he did fail you know a lot but um you know he ended up knowing how to do he basically mastered a lot of things that he's been practicing for years and to him it's like a big accomplishment and he's so happy to do it and to be honest with you he doesn't just do this to you now he does have that attraction to you you do have the spiritual attraction with him but he has he's this guy's sick in the head okay he's he's attracted to your body he's attracted to you um he knows how smart you are and he loves that he doesn't waste his time on people that are not you know, so smart, basically, in his mind. So what this guy is doing is he's controlling you, he's controlling his wife, and he's controlling anybody that he wants to control. And all he has to do is either do it through his mind or he could do astral projection and physically go and do what he wants to people. Um, he, he is very strong-willed, um, and he doesn't take no for an answer very lightly. <laughs> you know? No, he don't. No, he doesn't. His, the people that reject him or say no, he, in his mind is, he, they better say yes to me. I better get right. what I want every time. And if not, I'm going to go after this person. And he has right. done that. He has spiritually attacked other people. You well, are more personal than anybody else, okay? Um, he'd rather be with you and be a family with you, I mean, physically be with you, than his wife. So, um, and the only reason that she's there, like I said it, um, she, he's controlling her. He's mind controlling her, okay? Um, not to mention on top of being abusive, because this guy is a very abusive person, and his wife is scared, and she, he has threatened her before. Uh, but on top of that, he's using spirituality I to control that too with him. Like he threatens her. Oh, he does. I'd be afraid of him too, wouldn't you? I mean, who knows what he could do to you? I mean, you know? he's a narcissist for God's sake. You know what I mean? Yep. He, he said he he says she kicked him out of the house one night. He went and stayed at his this church camp thing, mm -hmm. and he calls me on the phone, and he's like he's selling all his tools to come live where I'm at in the town where his family's from and stuff and I'm from. Mm -hmm. But um, when I offered help, I didn't want to know what happened in the relationship. Don't care. That's not 
not my place and not my job, but I had offered help, you know, if you do, you're my half-brother, I'll help you, I'll send you what you need, money, whatever. He got angry. He got upset with me. You know, I, I offered a place for him to stay, and he got really mad at me. I wouldn't stay with you. I'll stay with my mom. 